Hey guys, um, i do a quick video on getting enough time frame data for Thinkorswim. Uh, before I begin the presentation, just want to remind you this is not financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, so any trades you take uh, using my uh, indicators or my education are your trades and your trades alone. All right, let's get started. Real quick video to talk about time frame setup in Thinkorswim. Um, especially when you're using the new scalp mode, you definitely need to have enough data in order to calculate the ATR levels. So let me just give you a quick uh, tour of my time frames so you can understand uh, what you need to do to set it up. So if you click on the time frame here, you'll see I've got all my time frames here, um, and I'm giving them ample data in order to calculate um, the ATR levels. Uh, so if you just go to Customize List, you can add time frames for whatever you want. And these are the ones you want. So you need at least 10 days of data for smaller time frames. For like a 10 minute, I like to do 30 days. Um, for a one hour and a four hour, I like to do 360 days, so about a year's worth of data. Um, for the daily chart, I like to do 10 years. And then for anything above, like the weekly, monthly, or yearly, I do max. Um, you can also do max on the daily, but um, it's a lot of data. So uh, especially on you know older tickers, um, well-established tickers like let's say Apple or Amazon or um, SPX uh, it's a lot so um, it can hose your system so this is what I found to be pretty optimal um, I have a pretty beefy setup so um, you may need to play with these particularly these ones right here like the daily the, um, the four hour and the one hour um, but I think it should work so um, you know just add those time frames in um, and, you know, for scalping, you definitely need to have some data. Otherwise, you're not going to get the right levels. Uh, okay.